Hello, and welcome to Untwisted Threads. This yarn is called Lopi Plotilopi. This 100% Icelandic wool features 24 colors. The colorway we chose is 1428 Plum Heather. This 100 gram plate with 300 meters or 328 yards works up as a worsted weight yarn. In today's video, we're going to review and score Plotu Lopi by Lopi using our five categories, which are availability, softness, traction, durability, and cost to help you decide if this is the best yarn for you and your next project. Let's get started. For availability, we give Plotu Lopi a score of four out of five. Although Lopi originates from Iceland, this yarn is pretty widely available here in the United States. It is available on larger craft websites, including Webs and Lovecrafts, as well as many other smaller or local craft shops. Of course, it shouldn't be difficult to find it in Europe as well, since that is where it originates from. For softness, we give it a score of 2 out of 5. Icelandic sheep wool is unique in that it contains two types of hair. The outer layer is composed of coarse, longer hairs, making it tough and water resistant. The inner layer is composed of short hair that is fine and softer. If you've watched our animal fibers video, you may be familiar with what a micron count is. The micron count of a wool is basically a number on a softness scale. The lower the number, the softer the fiber will be. Icelandic wool is around 27 to 30 microns, which is more coarse than Peruvian highland wool, which is around a scale rating of 25. So in terms of softness, this wool unfortunately was too rustic for me to enjoy due to my sensitive skin. Although my swatch didn't noticeably soften after blocking, the fibers will relax and soften some the longer you soak your garment and wash it with wool soap. In terms of warmth, Icelandic wool is considered one of the warmest and most insulating types of wool. Remember how I mentioned its wool was double layered? That quality of their fibers provide extra insulation and warmth. For traction, we give it a score of 1.5 out of 5. This yarn is considered a single ply or unspun yarn. Due to the longer coarse fibers of Icelandic wool, the yarn was noticeably sticking together, similar to Velcro. If you recall from our review on Let Lopi, that yarn was spun a little bit tighter than this yarn, and I had a really rough time working with it. But I think the construction of this yarn versus the Let Lopi is that the fibers are more loose and don't stick together as much. So as you can imagine, it wasn't the easiest for me to knit with, even with nickel plated needles, but it's not impossible to knit with. For durability, we give it a score of 3.5 out of 5. I was so cautious and nervous about this yarn falling apart as I was working with it. Single ply yarn, like this one, has a single twist in one direction. I probably sound like a broken record at this point, but the more plies a yarn has, the stronger it will be. So the yarn itself is very lightweight and fragile, but the Icelandic wool fibers that make up this yarn are very strong and hardy. Even looking at the geography of where Iceland is, if the sheep are living there, their fleece has to be able to keep up with the climate. Their wool is water and wear resistant and just sheds off the rain and weather. As a side note, there is a natural break about twice a year that is recommended to shear the sheep's coat to help them remove their old coat before the new coat grows in. So don't be alarmed, the sheep aren't going cold. The shearing of their wool helps more wool grow in better. For cost, we give it a score of four out of five. For being a 100 gram plate, you can expect to pay $12 US per plate meaning a size medium sweater would cost approximately $40 US. Of course, if you live in Europe, this cost is more inexpensive, making this a great budget-friendly yarn for the more advanced knitter. Overall, we give Lopi Plotu Lopi a score of 3 out of 5. If you're like me and are someone with sensitive skin, this probably isn't the best choice of yarn to knit with. But this yarn is very popular and common for knitwear for those living farther north in the colder climates. So once this yarn is gently knitted up, and if you wear a base layer underneath it, it will definitely keep you warm. 
Have you used Lopi Plo to Lopi yarn before? What yarn would you like for us to do a review on next? We would love to hear your thoughts and recommendations in the comments below. If you enjoyed our review, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.